tension is growing between residents of a Burnaby neighborhood and occupants of two pipeline protest camps outside Trans Mountains Terminal. Tom Walsh has the story. Chanting, drumming, protesting. Opposing a major pipeline can be a noisy affair, and not just for Kinder Morgan. Some residents here in this leafy green suburb of Burnaby have also had enough and want their peace and quiet again. Now a group of 176 Burnaby residents have signed a petition asking the city to remove the demonstrator camps, citing concerns over public safety, traffic and fire hazards. This despite the fact that the city's mayor has spoken openly about his support for the demonstrators and opposition to the pipeline. If we reach the end of this and there is no alternative, then I think what they're going to see is massive civil disobedience. There has been a taste of what could happen. They believe that uh, the federal government has been able to impose its will if they've ignored the court proceedings, then I think that we're looking for chaos. But those against the demonstrator camps have accused the mayor of turning a blind eye to bylaws broken by the protesters. And while the demonstrators have vowed to fight on, not all local residents are opposed to them. I haven't seen any littering. I love the smell of the campfire. <laughs> I hope they're being careful with fire, but I think they have every right to be there. There's people that might not agree with um, the, the way they're going about it. There's people that don't like the smoke from their fires and it, it's bothering them, but um, Yourself? It's, it hasn't been bothering me too much. Basically, I just hate the way it's divided the neighborhood. It was such a nice place to live. Everybody got along. Mm -hmm. And, you know, and of course, everybody's entitled to their opinion, but it's just driven a line through and people are sort of changing their opinions. Uh, the longer this camp stays and stuff like that, the more people develop opinions mm -hmm. and the more controversy there's been. In the meantime, BC Supreme Court has begun trial proceedings against hundreds of protesters who have violated Kinder Morgan's injunction zone. The court is expected to take months to process all the cases, and with little sign of protesters giving up, it looks like the camps could be here for quite a while. In Burnaby, Tom Walsh, City News.